Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to another video. Today is going to be something a little different that I haven't done in a while. I'm going to be doing a voiceover of my entire jump training workout. If you guys haven't been watching the videos recently, I am in the middle of an elastic phase. Um, so basically, the three most common phases that you will see in a jump training program is strength, uh, max strength, max power, and elastic. This is my first time ever being in an elastic cycle. Uh, right now, this is the beginning of week three. Uh, we are going to be working out for four weeks total, four to five weeks before I deload. Uh, so yeah, pretty excited to do this voiceover. Uh, right here, I am doing a barbell warm-up. So normally, what I usually do before my workouts, I'll do my ISOs. Then I will do a high intensity warm up and then jump dynamic flexibility in this workout. Um, well, during this cycle, because I am having so many elastic contacts and it's so intense, I've actually cut the high intensity warm up. And instead, I go straight from ISOs to jump dynamic flexibility straight into a barbell warm up. And I really like this warm up. I basically do, um, and this is all in a row. And honestly, it's really tiring. Um, it's a good workout in of itself. <laughs> John's there on the camera. Um, but basically, I, I do 10 front squats, 10 back squats, uh, 10 RDLs, 10 hang cleans, 10 power cleans, and 10 hang power snatches. Um, again, this is pretty tough. I get really out of breath, but it always gets sweat going. It gets me really warmed up. And after that, I go straight into my lifts. Um, but yeah, guys, I've been feeling pretty freaking good, uh, during this elastic cycle. Um, something that I've been dealing with this past year has been some TFL issues, some, some pain in my, uh, upper trochanter. If you guys want to look that up in, in an anatomy book on Google. Um, but during this cycle, jumping more than I have in years, probably jumping more than I have since I was like 16, 17. Um, jump more than ever, uh, doing very intense lifting, lots of plyometrics. And I felt healthier than I have literally my whole life, which is crazy. So I've been adapting really well to it. Um, here is the first lift. And this is one of the unique lifts to this elastic cycle, um, that John came up with. Um, it is a hang clean pull to a hang power clean. Now the objective of this, and this is a big focus that we've had this cycle is to overload uh, the eccentric portion of the lift. And I do that by going into the hand clean pool, the bar is dropping with a shit ton of speed. And then I try to reverse it back up, um, which is actually really, really difficult. If you guys want to try this um, before trying this, I would make sure that your cleaning technique is on point. Make sure you go watch my power clean tutorial. Um, if you guys need help with that. Um, so here I am trying 235. As you can see, I failed it. Um, I was supposed to do doubles, but yeah, 235 was way too heavy for me. Um, and I ended up dropping the weight down to 230 and just doing a single. So John saw I failed it. Um, I tried it twice, failed, put 230 on the bar, got that. Um, at this point in the training cycle, um, I'm actually extremely extremely fatigued again this is probably the hardest training cycle that i've ever done in my life um and my bounce has been suffering i think i uh last video i tested my vert at 45 i, th I believe it was um and that was feeling pretty good i think my vert's been down to even as far as 42 43 no i think i tested 44 last video so and it's been down as low as 42 to 43, I think, um, which is normal. Uh, if you are jumping extremely high in the middle of a training cycle, you might not be training hard enough um, and you might not get the benefit of a deload. Um, here we're doing the next portion of the workout. Uh, John is doing slow quarter squats. Fun fact, I'm actually riding John's training right now. Uh, even even coaches need coaches, man. Um, and a lot of people are surprised at like my training knowledge and how good of a coach I am. But um, here we have him doing slow quarter squats. He was having a bit of tendinopathy on his right knee. Um, and he's also been having hip issues. So which is why we're doing quarter squats. Um, and then I also did banded slow front squats, which really helps with my TFL. 
Um, and something that's helped a lot with my TFL is actually um, a lot of flexibility work. Now, before I go into explaining what I've been doing with the flexibility work um, and explaining this exercise right here, which is the eccentric reloaded uh, single leg leg extensions, I just want to give a quick word from the sponsor of the video. So I'll be right back. What's up, guys? I just want to take a quick break from the video to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Prediction Strike. If you guys don't know what Prediction Strike is, it's basically an app where you can trade stocks of NBA and NFL players. Uh, if you guys want to go check it out, click the link in my description. You'll get a free $10 to use to trade any NBA players you want and see if you can make some good investments related to the NBA. If you love stocks and you love watching basketball, this is the app for you. Go check it out. Link in the description. Shout out to Prediction Strike. All right, everybody, we're back with the video. So as I was saying before, I've been doing more flexibility work these last probably two months. And specifically, I've been focusing a lot on getting my glutes and groin flexible um, and then just doing a couch stretch. I just hold stretches for each of those body parts for like one minute each every single day. And this has made a tremendous difference uh, in my upper hip pain, um, the TFL area. That along with doing a lot of like glute strengthening exercise, which is why you saw me do the banded front squats earlier. Um, and yeah, it's made the biggest difference in the world. Now back to this exercise, uh, the eccentrically overloaded uh, leg extension. So as you can see here, John is pushing down as hard as he can uh, while I try to fight it on a single leg. Um, and then I go up uh, with both legs, go back on one leg and again, try to fight it. This exercise is extremely intense. Uh, this is also very risky, so I only recommend doing this if you have zero knee pain, all right? So be very careful with doing this exercise. Um, I personally have had zero issues with it. I haven't had uh, problems with my knees in a very, very, very long time. I'm very resilient with that exercise now. Um, but yeah, that exercise just absolutely destroys my quads. Um, and we will see in deload week if it's helped at all. Um, I'm actually really excited. So this this video is actually recorded um, a week ago. So I did the same workout um, yesterday, I believe, and I've made a lot of progress um, as cycles go on uh, as a mesocycle continues. They usually get more intense with time until deload week. Um, and I'm actually about to enter my deload week this week. So be on the lookout for videos with that, uh, which should be really fun. Here we are doing eccentrically loaded uh, seated calf raise, which is the same idea as the leg extension like you saw earlier. This is also extremely tough, um, but again, it's very, very potent. It'll make you jump higher for sure. Um, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Make sure you like the video. It helps the channel tremendously. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go to thpstrength.com if you want to sign up for online coaching from me and John. Take it easy, guys.